when you do a Google search for the word shortwave, one of the top search terms that you find is, does anyone still use shortwave? Now, the answer to that is a resounding yes. There is so much going on on shortwave that for a lot of people who start listening to shortwave for the first time, and even for people who have been doing it for a while, it's difficult to find out what exactly you are listening to. There are various sites that you can use to help you identify shortwave signals, but there is one specific site that I think is just wonderful. It helps you to identify literally almost anything that you hear on shortwave, as well as long wave and medium wave. This is Andre from SWL, and in this video, I'm going to show you which website to use to help you identify what you hear on shortwave. The most well-known site is this one, Shortwave Info. It works, it's a nice site and I have used it, but when I discovered the site that I'm using now, I just stopped using Shortwave Info. It's not regularly updated, so I don't always find the latest broadcasts here. It doesn't have all the signals that I pick up. It only looks at the regular shortwave broadcast bands, so there's nothing, none of the utility signals or anything that is outside these regular broadcast bands. It's still a useful site. If you click on one of the bands and you do a search, it shows you all the stations that are broadcasting there. It gives you some detail, the name of the station, where it's from. Useful. You can also find stations here by name. So if you click on the name and any language, it will give you a full list of all the frequencies of that station and all the different times. So it's a nice and useful site, but too many times I've used this and I just don't find what I'm looking for. There are three other sites, IB Space, which is from Germany, and Awoki, which is from Japan, and the HFCC, which is a site that belongs to the International Telecommunications Union. All three of these sites offer some frequencies. IBSpace is the best. It really lists almost everything. If you click here, you can look by frequency or by time. So there are these two lists here. If you click on it, there you go. It provides you with a full list of everything on air right now. I don't think it's very user friendly, but it's a lot of very good data. And you can see there the dates. Um, it's updated regularly. Yeah, you can also click on these files. This is the Aoki site and get some information. And this one also provides you with some information of specific broadcasters. And if you click on these links, you will get some frequency information and stuff there. But these three sites, IBSpace, Aoki, and this HFCC site, these three, all the data they have are pulled in by a website called shortwave db shortwave database the website address is shortwavedb.org this is all you need you can see here they use these schedules so these are publicly available schedules that shortwave db pulls in and you can simply do a search here so we can search for for argument's sake 4930 and uh, i know that's voice of america you do your search there is your station. And if you click on the location, it shows you where the transmitter is with a picture of the transmitter. This is wonderful. It's really a great site to use. You can also go to shortwave schedules there at the top, and then you can literally list everything that is on air right now or on air for all time, you can select here, Broadcasting Now, Display All. You can select your units by frequency or by station. Here, if you add your own latitude and longitude, which I will do, and you do a search, then this is not my exact location, it's kind of in the area where I am, and you do a search, then it will show you the distance of these stations from where you are. So I'm going to do a quick search for everything on air now, Broadcasting Now, Click on Submit, 
and there it gives you everything. You have medium wave stations, you have utility stations, there are time signals here, there's a Chinese jammer on medium wave, there's some of the Volmet stations, the flight weather stations, they are here, there's Coast Guard, there is literally almost anything that I can think of is listed here. So this is, in my opinion, the go-to place. Use shortwavedb.org and you can search for a frequency or you can search by schedule, the option that you have there. The shortwave DB site does not list the spy signals. So you need another site to do that. I made another video about this. I will add a card here, but you can use this website called priom.org and that will help you to identify spy signals. So you can find the frequencies here. If you hear something that sounds like a number station, you can come to this website called priom.org. So my recommendation, if you want to find almost anything that you are listening to on shortwave is use shortwavedb.org, search there or search by schedule and use priom.org for spy number stations. Mm -hmm.